you've been living on another planet or under a rock for some years, you've probably noticed that uh, my guest is Mr. Uh, James Garner uh, from Maverick and the Rockford Files and any number of shows that have rolled in the dough for him. Except one. Why do you keep Why do you keep talking about rolled in the dough? Well, I'll, t I'll tell you why. Because um, I know this is a little personal, but everybody's interested in money, and I was dazzled when I read the big bucks you pulled down on Maverick a week. Yeah. Can anyone guess what you know what stars' salaries are like? I mean, five thousand, you'd say, probably a little. That's probably close. No, you're ten times too high. I made five hundred dollars a week on matter, and no residuals. They're la but they're that's all right. I made six hundred a week the second year. Um, was your agent competent? Um, him to? No, we had him declared. Uh, he was. That is truly startling. I decided it was a typo when I read that. No, it's true. Uh, I was on the contract for the studio at the time, not for the series. Yeah. And of course, when I signed the contract, they said, "No, we don't want you in television. We want you to do movies." Mm -hmm. And, of course, the next thing I know, they got me in a television series. So. But uh, that's just amazing. Ed Sullivan, I believe, at that time was making something like 17000 a week. Making 25, I remember. 25, 25000 a week. Is it possible that you were supposed to be getting 50000 and the decimal point was in the wrong place? <laughs> it could have been. That, that can't even have been a low typical salary in those days. Well, at Warner Brothers, it was about average. <laughs> uh, they didn't pay much. Yeah. And uh, those were the early days of television, and they got away with whatever they could. They're still trying to get away with it, too. Uh, you know, now. Yeah. Now you have profits, but they see to it that you don't get profits. They never uh, quite get to the profit. No, they don't quite. Poor fellas, they just... Some, I think Universal's made close to 100 television series and never paid a profit to anyone. Uh, I really feel sorry for them. They must be going broke. If <laughs> uh, you, there was a litigation involving that with you. Is that something you should have talked about? There still is. Oh, it doesn't make any difference. Current yeah. litigation. Yeah, I'm suing them for profits in Rockford. They say yeah. there are none. And if you believe that, I got some swamp land I want you to buy. Now, has anyone ever advised you to not make waves or constantly and just say, come on, Jim. Oh, I remember years ago when I sued Warner Brothers for uh, breach of contract uh, when I was doing Maverick. And uh, I remember Abe Lasfogel, a great agent, said, Jim, you can't beat them. They wrote those contracts. They know what they're doing. And, uh, you shouldn't do that. You'll never work again and all that. And I said, good. I'll go back to laying carpets because, uh, you know, I, I, I'm funny. I, when I work, I want to be paid. Uh, it's, it's, it's very strange, I know. But yeah. Well, it's not as and selfish I, as it sounds. I feel if you earn it, you should get it. And, uh, you know, yeah. you have to deal with lawyers. First. Lawyers are wonderful people. Well, you've made a dollar or two for other people, so it's only fair you should get a dollar or well, two. Well, that's true. I've made a little bit for them. Yeah. But, uh, no, I, I feel the, the original Mavericks, I paid my dues. Mm -hmm. uh, I worked for very little, and they were a big success. And, all right, I was broke when I, when I finished doing Maverick. But, uh, okay. You know, you work and you pay your dues, but there comes a time when they're supposed to pay off. And I've had, uh, what have I done, four, four television series. And two of them have been tremendously successful, and two weren't so successful. And the only one that is on the books that's in profit was one of those that wasn't a success called Nichols. That only went one year. That's in profits. You remember as, that? As fans. Yeah. That's my favorite of all of them, even over Matt, uh, Rockford. But. Did you ever attend an acting school officially? Yes, I did. I, uh, I was working in the Kane Mutiny Court Martial in about, I guess it was 53 or 54 in New York, and uh, I decided I ought to go to acting school and see what it's about, and I went to a beginner's class, and I went about six times, and I decided they weren't teaching me anything I really didn't know. It's just common sense, and I never went back. And yet, your colleagues... St um, still go to class, some of them. It's amazing, even though they've been in the uh, business for 20 yes, years. Yes, I know many, many actors and actresses who still go to classes, and that's the way they learn, and that's the way they work. I learned and worked a different way. I learned on the job training. Yeah. Uh, you just either get out there and sink or swim. And uh, that's, it's just the way I do it. Uh, that's like people who ask, how do you become a success? I don't think uh, there's any formula. Mm -hmm. Some people go to acting school, some people don't. But for everyone that ever had a success in this, this business, there's a different story. Yeah. They, nobody did it. No two did it the same way. And yeah, so no formula applies to the kid who wants to know, how do I yeah. get there? there you did just, it. No, if they want to do it badly enough, they'll do it. What's the secret? They, people always ask. 